Don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and how about doing it the way they did it? Running the football and picking it up on third down. Yeah, would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah, they avoided the glares as they went back to the bench, didn't they? After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Being chased out left. Now he'll pull it down. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of his first half of action. Eluding the pressure right. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Nice throw there by Jackson. You think about what a boost he gave Baltimore the middle of last year, led them to victories in six of their last seven games a starter replacing Joe Flacco who had the hip issue and that strong finish was good enough for the Ravens to capture their first AFC North crown since 2012 and now Jackson's a known commodity he's the unquestioned starter and with increased expectations and pressure on the former Heisman Trophy winner got to give some credit there defensively they snuffed out that screen early on first down really read it well didn't they because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected they covered all the passing lanes so once you see it break down as the passer I think in this situation you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off or you throw it away throw it over the sideline don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play there's really no one else running a pattern that should be open Escaping the pressure right. He'll try and run it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On third down, here's Bo. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A great effort there. 26 yards as the Ravens push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. Tucker now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. Indianapolis Colts offense coming back out. Charles, this is a team that all of a sudden scratching their heads a little bit. A last-second loss to the Steelers. And then in Week 10, a home loss to previously 1-7 Miami. A tough couple of weeks. Yeah, but they've won 5 of 6 before that. I think that's what makes it even more puzzling that they would lose to a 1-7 Miami team. And at home, that's a game you absolutely have to have. Now they're in a three-way tie for what would be the sixth and final seed in the AFC. And the next three weeks, they stay within their division. Jacksonville at home, at Houston, and then home again for Tennessee. They hope to have Jacoby Brissett back at quarterback, and they hope that their kicker, Adam Vinatieri, gets things figured out. It's a game of four. Brings up third and six. 